an acceleration between pre-COVID and post is indulgence foods too, right? I was just having a conversation with um, some of my old friends um, with, uh, you know, I'm on the leads, and they were talking about how they've never seen business like this before, like Oreo sales are through the roof. I mean, you know, I think to the idea of, you know, there is a, uh, you know, there is an acceleration of people that think about sustainability and health. There's also this group of folks that are thinking through how do I, you know, I need something to get my mind off things, right? The whole idea of mental wellness, you know, I, I'm one of them. I'm worried about, oh my God, the storm in Jersey, what's it doing to my ice cream in the freezer, you know, but, uh, but, <laughs> but, you know, I told, like, I see that trend as well, very different pre versus post. I do see this big lift in, you know, in indulgence, um, indulgence foods, you know, candy, confectionery. I mean, you know, I think there's this idea of how do I just, keep sick, keep, you know, my mental well-being and actually indulgence is a big part of that, regardless of whether it's plant-based or, or, you know, the other extreme as well, like chocolate and candy. 